special thank you to all of my patrons, especially my precious pets. Water Horizon, Nikki Paley, Fiori Vix, Hybrid Sisters, Michelle, Anna Venture, Lily Rosenhart, Sandra, Destiny, Stepanek, Savannah Vance, Rudu Betty, Luxie Scott Rushton, and Toka. Ah, you are awake. Is the bed not to your liking? They chained you to the bed? The daft. Very well. One moment. Better? I do apologize for the guard's overzealous approach. They should know better than to treat you so roughly, my little rose petal. Don't touch me. <laughs> so you refuse to cooperate? Not even a thank you for me coming to your aid? What is it? Is the food not to your liking? Is the bed not comfortable enough? Release you? Why ever would I do that? You are my honored guest, my dear. And what kind of host would I be if I turned you away in the middle of the night? No, no, my little rose petal. You will stay right where I can see you until you remember. And if you don't, then the privilege of plunging a blade into your beautiful heart will be my own. Your blood will soak no floors but mine. It will stain no hands but mine. If you cannot give me your love, you will give me your life. Gone mad, have I? <laughs> I hoped you'd remember. I had hoped in my heart that you would see reason. Don't you see, my love? Everything I do, I am doing for you, for us, for our future. This castle, this kingdom, this empire, all of it is my gift to you if you choose to take your place at my side. No, no, you would so easily deny me. You would throw everything away for what? Your silly little resistance. I've already forgiven you for your clearly misguided attempt on my life, and now you would turn away my love. I have drawn every breath lived every day in this wretched world for you, for your happiness. And this is how you dare answer me? <sighs> no, I shouldn't be quite so hard on you. You've lost all your memories after all, but in time, surely you will see. Surely you'll come to understand that our love transcends such fickle things as memory and recollection. You'll learn to love me again, just as you did the first time. It'll come naturally. Hmm? Did you say something? What of my heinous crimes, as you so eloquently put it? Which exactly do you mean? Forcing the neighboring populations into exile to expand my empire? Assassinating my enemy's leaders? Or that time I lied and told our enemies I sought peace, then mounted an ambush against them? The list is so very long, my little Rose. You'll have to be more specific about which one you're referring to. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter, does it? When you remember your love for me, you'll understand that I did it all for you. 
and you'll certainly forgive me. Perhaps you might even come to thank me for my efforts, my dear. Wouldn't that be just perfect? You, by my side, as we rule our empire together. Who knows? Maybe you'll even choose where we expand next. Perhaps the highlands to the east. I heard the kings over there have built some beautiful castles. We could repurpose one into a little getaway for us once the invasion is complete. Would that please you, my little rose petal? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Was it something I said? Ah, uh, but of course the eastern highlands are quite cold. Maybe the port nations to the south. I'm sure we could find ourselves a nice summer home. Why can't you just cooperate? Just once. Just play along if you must. Pretend you love me. Just try it. You might find that it comes more naturally to you than you expect. What must I do for you to love me? I don't care if it's real or not. Just let me believe for a moment that you love me. Please. You don't remember, but you were always the one with a gentle heart. You would beg me to show mercy to the prisoners, and I can never deny your wishes. I can never say no to you. Not when you looked at me with such love and devotion and... and faith. In the man I was. In the man I could have remained if you hadn't left. I was a good king. I was. I protected the poor and destitute. I was good, and then they took you away, and now, now you don't even remember me, or our love, or every sacrifice we made for each other. You don't remember how we wept together, how we laughed together. Your absence is like a raging fire that sears through my limbs and leaves me burning, and it never stops. It burns and it burns and it burns. And all that's left of the man I once was is soot and ash. You say I can't be that man again. Don't you understand, my little rose petal? Without your love, I couldn't dream of redemption. Love me, my dear and watch me shed the mantle of the ruthless emperor and become the man you knew me to be. You, truly, you would try? You would, you would learn to love me, my dear, my beloved rose petal. Thank you. I promise you, I shall grant your every wish. If you ask me to end the war, I shall do it. If you ask me to lay down my life for you, my dear, I'll do it without question. I shall devote my entire existence to your love. You wish for me to re-enter your cell? Certainly. Of, of course. To be closer to you is a blessing and I would be a fool to deny myself. Here I am, my love. Come, let me hold you. Let me show you the love that I have held in my heart for you and you alone. For so long I've waited for this moment. Shall I begin with tales of our past together? Or would you prefer to plan for our future? I am at your mercy, my little rose petal. You... Traitor! What a fool I am to trust you. To believe that you... That you could love me. 
if you would resort to such traitorous methods, to lies and pretense, then there is no need to show you any mercy. You will be chained and bound, just as you were before. Guards. <laughs> now, you are at my mercy again. Who will save you from here, my little rose petal? Your little revolutionary friends? I'll find them, one by one, and they will rue the day they ever met you. Everyone who made you like this, everyone who ruined you, will suffer for it. And as for you, I have no use for you anymore. You will rot in this cell until we decide on a fitting end for you. I already told you, if you can't give me your love, then you will give me your life. I will mourn and grieve, of course, but in my memory, you will remain my lover. History will remember you as my lover. In all of this nonsense of revolution and assassination, it will be reduced to nothing but the ramblings and rumors of our enemies. Oh, what if you kill me first? <laughs> if you can manage it, then believe me, my little rose petal, I will certainly look forward to it. Perhaps, if I still have breath after you strike me down, I will even congratulate you on your victory. But for now, for now, you will remain here, where I can watch as you descend into madness here in your cell. I had such high expectations for you, you know. And still, you disappoint me. I was wrong to put my faith in you. Look at you. Nothing but a pitiful coward who would use a man's love to kill him. <laughs> But it'll only get worse. You'll remain in the cell. You'll remain in the cell staring at its four walls until you have completely lost your mind. You'll become the very thing you sought to destroy. A monster doomed to ruin everything you touch. You will become a mad villain just like me.